Your father was a well-known lawyer. You trace your ancestry back to the Mayflower. You have a great literary friendship. You founded a magazine. You've had a chance to pursue every young man's fantasy. I mean, I want you to be candid and tell me about George Plimpton. For those of you who haven't heard of Plimpton, it's a little difficult to know where to begin an introduction. Plimpton's a writer. He is an editor of the Paris Review. And after that, he's a collector of experiences. Experiences like boxing Archie Moore, playing quarterback for the Detroit Lions, or percussion for the New York Philharmonic, the list could go on and on. It's obvious, of course, that no one could be that good. And Plimpton certainly isn't. This here's your warrant, mister. I'm a participatory journalist, uh, which means that I enter other people's professions in order to write articles and books on what happens. George Plimpton. It's like a type of transformation. You become what you want to become. Well, as you can see, I am not properly constituted to fight. And not only that, but I suffer from something called sympathetic response, which means that if you're hit, you weep. I remember seeing a letter from Hemingway to a friend of mine saying, this kid is the real thing. And I thought, well, now, this is what I'm going to do in life. What do your literary friends think of all this dabbling in sports? Is that slumming as far as they're concerned, or do they think it's an exhilarating thing? I don't think there's any name you could name that he had either befriended or published in the Paris Review. Anything that happened, anything was an excuse for parties. He lived for that. He loved every pair of adoring eyes. Jacqueline, you know, was the same age as my brother. I think George may be going out with her. Be the decision as to which direction really the United States might go in, yeah, which direction George Plimpton will go in, all of these major questions. Bobby Kennedy once confessed that George Plimpton was the man he'd sooner be. Who Plimpton would sooner be, we don't have a clue. 